Hey there, gamers. Mark the Lone Gamer here, and we are back in our new Skyrim modded Let's Play. We are here with our protagonist, Celine the Shieldbreaker, and her companions. And we are ready to go off on a new journey. And this one will take us farther beyond the distances that we've so far been traveling in the earlier episodes. Nope, this time we are going to Iverstead. And, uh, well, this early, I'd like to point out, uh, mod-wise, I've taken out simply bigger trees. As you can see, the tree here no longer is sticking out of the ground with its roots, which really looked weird. Unfortunately, while I really liked simply bigger trees because the big trees just made everything, just made the world a bit more interesting. Like, uh, just one large forest. It just was too open to glitches. And I guess we can't expect the mod to work perfectly with uh, the tree mod, uh, Nature of the Wildlands, because I'm sure that mod is very much um, composed, hand handmade, so that every tree is placed. I can't really just change variables like this tree size and not expect some glitching. So I did actually check Falkreath and the forest still looks great, so it's fine. And hopefully, maybe the performance of uh, the frame rate will but improve I still think a bit. You need my help with a few things. Anyway, as I said, Celine wants to head to Iverstead finally. However, she's decided to go the long way instead of taking the shortcut through the mountains near Halgen because. Celine here doesn't want to avoid trouble. She wants to find trouble so she can practice her sword work or, or her her skill in the use of her two-handed weapons. She wants to get loot. She wants to get stronger, build her reputation. And, well, she can't do that taking shortcuts. And we have a bit of a bounty to get here. So we were sent by Jarl Balgruf, or well, by Avent uh, Preventus Avenici, to kill the giant here at Golden Rock. Apparently it's been harassing and killing travelers. So we have to take it down. Now Celine has up to this point been avoiding giants because she knows what they can do but in this case well all right oh look two two giants well uh yes your valiant companions are coming so uh yeah let's uh let's take out these big boys and teach them to trouble the citizens of Whiterun. Alright. Alright, maybe we can kill them. Uh oh. Alright. Like, do we have... Uh, oh! Alright, maybe we should use this, our new weapon. Alright. Oh! oh. All right. That hammer. All right. Oh well. Kind of sad to kill such big 
obviously old and powerful creatures, but they were disturbing the peace. And being a thane of Whiterun, it was Lean's job to keep the peace. Ooh. Maybe we could use these boots. Now our current boots, we've, we've been wearing these new, these boots for the longest time because, uh, where are they? Our boots. Oh, we've been wearing them for the longest time because we do have an enchantment on them. But maybe it's high time to change. Oh, they look nice. Actually, don't like light colored boots. But uh, it, oh, it, there's a bit of clipping, I guess. But they do look good. Definitely better than the Nord boots, and they actually they seem to go well with her gloves or gauntlets. Now let's um, let's enchant them later. Maybe we should just give them to maybe to Lucian. So he's actually a light character. Maybe we can give them to... No. Azora has taken a bit of a more barbarian warrior uh, look. I think the steel plate boots are not going to fit her. Uh, Lydia has the full witch plate set, so... Um, I think there are no more giants here. We killed them all. Just take everything, which includes mammoth cheese. Hey, there are no mammoths here. So these giants don't have mammoths. That's that's actually kind of strange. Again, there they, maybe they're it's because they're mountain giants. They're a different sort, maybe. I don't know. And again, where did they get their cheese? Mysteries of Skyrim, but obviously these giants are not friendly given all the bones, the humanoid bones are all over the place, so they are murderers, very murderous giants. Alright, let's, uh, let's just be careful. Alright, I don't expect there to be another giant here. Alright, look like. I guess all we need to do is just get any loot that we can find here. Nice. Alright. There's more trolls. I guess, in terms of monsters, giants are at the top of the food chain. Alright, nice. All right, we get we get a level. Awesome. Not sure why there are coins. Alright. Greater simulacrum. Ooh. Alright, why not? Steel boots. Yeah. I think that's all there is here. Uh, Alright. Does it look like there's anything? Oh, it's a cow! I thought it was a wolf or something. Alright. Maybe a giant's version of a butcher shop. Anyway, I have to go. Alright, I'm not sure when we will be able to cash in our bounty since we're not going back to White Run right away. Certainly not to cash in the bounty, which will probably be a hundred gold or so. I think. Anyway. At least here 
Celine actually has a place to go because if, if you'll remember some time ago we went through this way and we actually captured the stronghold of Valtheim Keep from the bandits who were occupying it and we took it for white rod we we used our powers as a oh that's a white one guard so basically I think uh, we extended white runs boundaries up to here so that should be something that the Jarl will actually be glad oh all right dead bandits very good good work guard I trust the days found you well thing yes an eye out for storm cloak spice oh storm cloaks right probably don't want anything from this person oh no all right they lost a guard oh well Alright, we'll take those. Alright. So as you can see there are white red guards manning this stronghold, which we expected since we did capture the place for for white red. But I'd like to see exactly how the place has changed. So let's put on I guess these things have respawned. Some mead. I wonder if the food has respawned. <laughs> that was nice. All right. There's guards here as well. Guards here with. Yes, the, the food has the food has respawned. That is I really nice. I in the plains here, but I wanted to be like my parents and become a soldier or a mercenary. They were somewhat supportive. I don't think we need to get the food. We have more than enough food right now. Get it another time, but I guess that will just respawn. Alright, we can go up here. Right there, there are guards. There are quite a few soldiers. Uh, guards manning this place. I guess it, it is, after all, a major fort. This is not a small... Uh, Outpost. This is a major base, and it is uh, controlling this obviously uh, crucial pass. It's better in the hands of White Run instead of bandits. And who are you? you look like Lucian. Oh, what Imperial, Imperial Court. Oh, so we can actually sell stuff. Right, that's good. Right, we can sell. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Um. All right, that's good. We can sell stuff that we get. And this is basically a full crafting station. We can apparently level up too. All right, good. Quick silver. All right, the boots are definitely better than what we currently have, so we will be wearing them, I guess. Still here. Uh, unfortunately, we don't. I don't think we have good uh, soul gems. We pretty much used all our soul gems, or most of. Oh, we have a greater soul gem. All right. So, uh, if if we find an enchanting table. All right, um, and we go up. It is a bit dark and empty. Oh well. Who was talking? All right, lots of guards, still more guards here. This place is... It's being manned by a small army, or actually a large army. This might be a major military base in terms of holds. You don't typically see a fortress 
being uh, occupied by hold guards, usually just by uh, either bandits or by legion or stormcloaks. So this is unusual, which is nice. It's always good to be home. I'd lived here since I was a child. You lived here in Valtheim Keep? <laughs> Alright, um... Right, let's go here. Ew, there are a lot of guards. If there's no if there is a place more secure than this, it would probably be one of the cities. Right, is there someone manning that point? Doesn't look like it. Uh, who would want to man that though? I guess you could oh alright, you can go there. I've lost count of how many the guards are, but it's safe to say there are probably more than 10. It's getting dark. I'd like to check if there's still a bed here. So this was the bandit chief's uh, lair. So we have an alchemy lab here. Oh! Oh look! Arcane Enchanter, and what is this? Alright. This is a bit spiffier. A lot more luxurious than usual. Sky oh my gosh. Skyforge Steel Greatsword. Alright, did not expect that. Ooh. Letter of thanks. In recognition of your commendable part in claiming Valtheim Keep for Whiterun Hold's defenses, I hereby declare that the quarters atop the Northern Tower at Valtheim Keep are to be set aside for your personal use. I've ordered the quarters refurbished, and it is my hope that they shall meet the standards you measure your own house against. Additionally, a sum of gold has been included in this letter. White and Hold is grateful for your continued service. Sincerely, Jarl Balgruf the Greater. I love Balgruf. <laughs> well, of course, well, whoever the Jarl is, of course, will sign that letter, but still. All right, that is awesome. I think. So this is basically a player home. This is basically a player home. And good, because uh, I think we are staying... Hi! We're going to stay the night. So long as you come back for me. And uh, painting. And... House Carl. Uh, you can... Uh, oh, you can... Wait. Uh, where's Zora? Oh, there she is. The, the, the only thing, problem I have with Zora is I, I love her as a follower and she's pretty good. Uh, but because she's an interesting NPC, you can't control her with AFT right now. At least until not until you finish your quest, I think. But uh, on your mind. I can ask her to wait. I'll stand guard until you get back. I don't... The thing is, when you ask her to wait, she doesn't... She doesn't uh, relax after, she just stands there and it's kind of, uh, oh, the lighting is a bit weird. Maybe because they have torches. At least Lucian is... Uh, Lydia, you can relax. And, uh... uh she's... Yes, only where? Just don't take too much longer. All right, I, I think... All right, we have a guard here, posted here. All right, this is a very nice, very secure... It's a, it's a compact player home, but if you consider the whole place as part of the home, it's probably what... I think this is, what, this is my favorite player home. You're basically in a fortress, and you have an army accompanying you here. I like it. Anyway, I don't like the lighting. Lighting is a bit weird, but well, I think it's perfect. So it's nine. Let's just have dinner. And 
have a first night in our new home, which makes me kind of... Stormcloak, the Rifle High King. <laughs> what a laugh. If you kind of wish I didn't buy Bree's home. <laughs> if I knew that I was going to get this place. Oh uh, well. What can you do? But I really like it. I did not actually know that that w would happen. Uh, I know that Lawbringer just allowed you to claim areas for There's a, a faction. fought as we speak. We'll be at war with the Thalmor in a few years, and yet so many of the province's warriors are brigands. Greetings. Huh. Anyway, I think it's time to go, Lucian. Ready yet? Yes. Right, you are. Wow, I don't like that impatient. This smells of sweat and Something death. on your mind. Let's not I don't like that impatient tone, young man. Lead the way, my hero. All right, let's have breakfast. I just ate last night. Now, before anything else. Ooh, we have a weapon. All right. So anyway, let's. Yeah, the boots are definitely better. We could uh, give ourselves a bit more, a bit more resistance. We have a cloak that gives us frost resistance, and we have twenty-five percent from uh, from the perk alter resistance. That's the same with, uh, I guess, fire. We're not quite as good. Uh, wait. So, oh, let's wear them. We have frost. So we have. The gloves, or uh, the gauntlets, and so our damage will go down if we, you know what? Yeah, let's just give ourselves additional Thane. damage. Twelve is not still here. It's not a lot, but it's something. I wish we had a grand soul gem, but that's the way it is. Now, Lu uh, Zora. I'm right here. Will you wear our old boots? What do you need me to take? Take these old boots and wear them, please. She doesn't want to wear them. Uh, Two hands are better than one. Lucian? How are you doing? How about you? Take whatever you need. Uh, uh, Alright. Yeah, she'll wear them. He'll wear them. Right behind you. Uh, you should actually wear these. These are light boots, but I've already tried giving th them to her, and uh, they're not. She won't wear them. Well, we can just put them here. I guess. Uh, yeah, we can, let's put them here. This is our place now, so let's put stuff here. All right. Come on, people. Time to leave. To leave our new home. Oh, lots of guards. Alright. Wow. I we might qualify as the most powerful Thane in Skyrim <laughs> to have a home like this. This is awesome. All right. Anyway, the companions are getting tied up, but I guess we can go. They'll catch up. So yeah, as I said, Celine wants to head for Iverstead, but she's not going to take the shortcut. We're going the long way. So from here though we are now past White Red's boundaries, borders. 
I'm going to have to be careful. Don't know what dangers await on the road ahead. I'm going to have to be careful. But I like that there are still lots of trees. The tree mod is still really good. Like there's that weird dragon that uh, I think Celine will prefer to ignore if it's not going to cause trouble and it can be left alone. So now we are here in this area. Is there anything? Oh right. Um, there's a fort there. There is that bandit hideaway there. Let's take it out. Now, previously we thought that maybe it's too big. But, well, we have a rather large party. Relatively. I think we can handle it. Maybe. We'll see. So I think the hold is Lost Knife. Hideout. It's beyond the bridge. So let's see if we can... Uh, do something about it. Right, who are you? Hello. Oh, it's that Blackbriar Mead person. I'm not surprised that Nettlebane was infused with dark magic. I'm glad we chose the more righteous path. Huh. Right. This is to the Elder Glade Sanctuary. Mall. This is uh, I don't think we can claim this place for any faction. Uh, oh wait, wait, what's that? Oh, it's Stormcloak territory right now. Huh. All right. Don't. Not sure how to feel about that. But we haven't. We haven't uh, declared for any side anyway. All right, here is the bandit hold. All right, they're not exactly hiding. They're out of the way, but not hiding. And these corpses are fresh. All right. Well, bandits are bandits. I would probably want to use this. It would be nice if we could have this um, crafted up, but we don't have... Uh, if we could have Yorl and Greymane work on it, that would be nice. But that would only happen if we are a companion. Maybe in the future. Alright, let's do this. Now, Lost Knife Hideout. It's probably one of the best vanilla dungeons. Not much that you need to change here or mod, except probably the number of the number of uh, bandits. All right. Yeah, you, you don't have to change much here. It's one of the more complex vanilla dungeons, and I, I really like it. Can be a bit on the difficult side. If you come here under leveled, or if you add some difficulty mods. I think vanilla, if it's on default, even on adept, I think it's either fairly easy or manageable. There's some. Oh, why do you keep... Wait. Let's fix this. Why does he keep summoning that when he already has a much better spell? Yeah, let's take out Familiar. I wish I could take out Hailstone. <laughs> All right. So, anything else here? Alright, let's go. Alright. So we 
have appears to be a outpost. They say all beauty has flaws, but this is a side that is undoubtedly without one. Yes. Oops. Oh, that's not Lucian! Alright. Bosmer This guy had a lot of arrows. Different arrows. Are you alright? Zora's a bit wounded. It's so dark. You have to be careful, liable, or you'll be liable to run off a cliff. All right. All right. Whoa. All right. I think this is a bit dangerous running ahead of the rest of our party. Alright. Ow! There's someone here. Hello? Uh oh. Oh, this is a surprise! Alright. Whoa, that guy was strong. Special. Food, perhaps? Mm. Ah. Ah. I hate <laughs> finding empty barrels. Why is the music still running full tilt? Alright. Come on. I'm not sure if the others took care of the archers. Let's Maybe they cleared out the archers. Because oh, there's someone still over there. Alright, anyway. Let's do this. You know what? Let's take out voice of the Emperor. Guy. Right. Oh, you're still alive. Thank you. 
We're doing very well. Executioner's Hood. Uh, Food. Yes, I have a steak. Where is our cursor? Come on. Uh. All right. Wooden battle staff. That's an awesome knife. After we finish this place off, I guess we could go back to Valtheim Keep to sell off some of the stuff, uh, some of the stuff that we get. All right, no one's here. All right, come on. Place actually pretty awesome if you think about it. It's a huge cave. Again, Skyrim loves her vast caves. All right, get up, get up. Ah. Time to die. Yep, you're quite correct. <laughs> Awesome. We actually have a level up. Let's save it for an emergency. Because, uh, oh, what's this? There. Come on. Now, this stage is probably the hardest part of this dungeon because this is where the gang is. It can get chaotic if you're by yourself. Alright. <laughs> Lucian just letting loose. Alright, we got clipped. Oh, there were archers behind us. Bastards. Alright, I think that's all of them. At least the ones out here. Oh! Alright, let's save that for later. Are we done? Ah. All right, this sometimes happens when you uh, That's really weird. I think the the saber cat glitched out of his cage even though it, the cage wasn't open, so he was still in his captive state. I guess so if you want the cat, if you find the cat outside this cage, and the cage is still closed, if you want to keep him alive, don't open his cage. Oh. Oh, so the... Who opened... How did... Oh, so apparently... Well... So apparently the boss, or the the bandit who was here, was supposed to be the final opponent, managed to get back in. Still here. And uh, I guess he was one of these people. I think it was this guy or 
Yeah, I think it was this guy. Maybe. Or Kishima Mace were taking that. Alright. That went incredibly smoothly. Ooh, silver hand. Hmm. You know what? Let's take silver sword and have it at our side. So we can have a uh, can have a side Thane. side weapon. I I think we're getting a bit strong. I am venturing that uh, we may be able to push up the difficulty to master very soon. I don't want to do it just because because we're we're doing very very well. But, of course, we are, of course, about level 22 at this point. It's not a bad level. But I think it's about level 50 or so when you, when the character is really, really strong at that point. So we've got a ways to go. Lesser reanimation. Waterfell. Uh-oh. All right, let's... Uh, Pass off some some stuff. Something on your mind? Please help me carry stuff. All right, I'll carry this for you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. uh, oh, we have an elven sword. You know what? I'll take an elven sword instead of a silver sword. Then again, oh yeah, elven silver sword is really really bad. The mace is good actually. Let's do the mace. Alright, can you... I like you in the... I like you in the barbar barbarian hero armor. Well, she likes the armor too. Good. <laughs> um, grindstone... Oh, should have should fix the bow. Since we have the bound bow already, we don't really need to have uh, a regular bow with us. But I still want to carry carry one, I guess. I think the orcish. Hmm. You know what? Let's give it to still Zora. Here. Because she's the other. Okay, training things is always fun. She's the other archer, and yeah, the dwarven bow isn't that good. Wow, it's not good at all. Uh, we'll just take that and sell it. Here we go, Alpha. have the chance, all right? Where is that? All right. Hopefully, there's something good here. Hmm. Oh, that master chest. Master chests. Now that. I the trick is to just probe. If you find that part where it has a little bit of give, you're halfway there. There. You just have to remember where it is. And for master chests, it usually is very, very slight. <laughs> I 
not that hard. Alright. So, I think we're done here. I just really like the imagery of this place with all these cages. It's like this is the major poaching headquarters. Yeah, she looks pretty. Um, I'm using um, a mod called Modpocalypse to uh, to alter the looks or to to give every basically every NPC a makeover. Uh, for uh, this is for Obis. So organized bandits, the the bandits of organized bandits in Skyrim look really good. Regular bandits probably not as much. I think the exit is over here. Wait. There's a part here. Nope. Alright. Come on. So the exit should be over here. It's so dark. Alright. Still be an archer here. Nope, oh, nope. Oh. I think we already killed the archer. Maybe they went back into the main cave and probably is dead. Can you imagine the scale of this place, how large it is, given all this? It probably has more land space. You could probably fit Whiterun inside this place. <laughs> Alright, uh, Zora being uh, physically fit. Makes them, them running in place. Right behind you. Alright, come on. Time to leave. But yeah, that's Lost Knife. think about it not not an overly long dungeon there's no place to that really takes too long it's just very combat heavy and it ends with a big battle scene or combat scene which is really good but very entertaining for the time it lasts And I guess from here, we can uh, head back to Valheim, sell off stuff, and then be on our way. In any case, I think we'll end the episode here. It's been Mark Lone Gamer with our new modded Skyrim Let's Play. And we will be back for more Adventures of Selene Shieldbreaker in the next video.